All right, guys, another video. Uh, we've got a date with the dyno. A uh, different dyno this time. So it's been interesting. Apparently, this one reads a lot lower than um, the other ones we've been using. So, yeah, it's putting the colour tune over, over this thing just to check it. And uh, I just ran the synchronizer over it as well. And I, was, I was playing with the, with the uh, idols on all three of them the other week and then we stuck it up. So I just wanted to check the Ira Tad out. So we just clean that up. And um, we'll be off. Give a shout out to Adam Lussick with his little Centura roller cam engine. Uh, he's put me onto high comp. Uh, he swears by him. And I just got a little a little vid here of uh, his, him revving his engine. So just have a listen to this thing. Jesus. Let's listen to it again. Nice, fucking crazy to be honest. Um, okay, yeah. So Joe just uh, he straps it down and he's he just he just sees where the car likes to be loaded up. And I was just watching the AFRs. The AFRs are on the right hand screen, top left, and you can see uh, they're a little bit rich in the progressions there. But at idle. And so we did about three runs, so we just went to the city. Also, just pointing out on the left screen, bottom right, AFR graph, you can just see it going up and down, up and down as you go through steady state.
for AFR is a ballpark. AFR is, is yeah. pretty spot on. Yeah, like, okay. I, I don't think I'd get that much better if I tuned it. The white, so the wide open throttle AFR is spot on. You need an apprentice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, down low though, right? In, the progressions are a little rich. Oh, of, of way seat. rich. Yeah. And, and the discrepancy between your sensor and my sensor is chalk and cheese. So your sensor, when it was reading, it was reading like 17 to 1, 16, oh, no, 17 to 1. And then it goes away? Yeah, and then Yeah, it, yeah, it's dead. Yeah, that's it's, right. Yeah. yeah, so my sensor's reading in the tens, yep. right? Yeah. So the full throttle AFR is good, right? But if you have a look here, um, so that's say 155 to 180, so it's only 30 horsepower, yes. a 30 horsepower spread. Three. And that's why his one looks so flat yeah. I mean, mine looks sort of fairly flat as well. Um, you, yours is a bit squ squashed, like squasher, right? His is spread out more. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Well, no, no. I'm talking. Decays? Yeah, I'm talking this way. Right. Okay. Right? So I've got like, see, his his page here goes to 250 horsepower at the top. Yeah. And like zero at the bottom, right? So yeah. it's going to look very flat, right? Yeah. So like, I, I can make I can make the run look really flat. So if I do this. See? Right, okay. So if I put 300 horsepower yeah, here yeah, and 150 yeah, yeah. there, it looks flat, right? Yeah. So, but in fairness, it, it, it is fairly flat, yeah. right? So it can't even do it, right? So, um, but I think it's more a case of like, we're thinking, okay, converter, we're, th we're thinking this and that. No, I think it's a case of where it should be. You see, the, see this climb here? See that climb? Yeah. I think it should be climbing further up here and then rolling over somewhere here. Yep. If something happens here that makes it sort of flatten off, right? Yep. So something happens at 4,300 that sort of makes it take a turn and then by five grand, it's all over. Yep. So that's, well, 4,800 even. So that peak is at 4,800. After right. 4,800, it's just a... It's dropping over. Uh, dropping over, yeah. right? I actually felt that at the drags the other night. Yeah. Is it all the yeah. work you, you did? Yeah, yeah. Did, did you have it sort of dynoed as you're doing the work? You're getting uh, it bits, sort of... Bits and pieces, yeah. yeah. But and, same dyno guy. Yeah. And um, has, it, has it made any more than 180 horsepower? Well, um, I'll show you... Where's that? Oh, oh, oh yeah. it's here. Lean 